Geminis, let's see what messages you need to know now. If you want a personal reading, check out the information listed in the description. For my first time clients or customers, you do get 50% off of your first session with me. So definitely check that out and let's go ahead and get into it. So the first card already showed up here. We have receiving elation. So this talks about happiness, happy times. Okay, what you must know now is that it's important for you to prioritize your sense of happiness because there are going to be things that are annoying, sometimes even upsetting, that pop up in life, but it's how you respond to it and how you move based off of these things, these outside energies, okay? Also, this is making sure that you're giving yourself your flowers. I, I heard that. Give yourself your flowers or allow yourself the chance to be happy with where you're at now. Not waiting for outside things or external things to tell you that, okay, now it's time for you to enjoy your life or now it's time for you to be, you know, no longer depressed <laughs> when you have to take control and you have to um, manage basically how you respond to again, outside energies. Let's keep going. Gemini's, we have deconstructing doubt. So right now, spirit is trying to push you to do just this, deconstructing any fear or doubt that you may have in terms of your capabilities or your abilities to pull certain things off or to do certain things. So if you could be in an uncomfortable time where it's pushing you to maybe go out of your comfort zone and you may not be sure how that's going to play out or if it's going to work out for you, this is a time where you can break free from that narrative and actually step into this energy of um, putting yourself out there. Okay. And also when it comes to doubt, it could be controlling your or an, I wouldn't say controlling, but it could be blocking, I should say, certain manifestations by you doubting yourself. It could be causing you to not act on the things that you say you want to do and therefore causing you to miss your, your blessings or your manifestations. Gemini's, what do they need to know now? So we have unraveling codependency. So yes. Yes, there's certain connections or certain relationships in your life that right now are showing you where codependency isn't the way or isn't the answer. Okay, now there's a sense of healthy codependency, but it's another thing when another person is like controlling your sense of happiness in a way where... Um, they're making you lose sight of who you are and they become like everything in terms of your focus. So this is a time where spirit is trying to remove you from any relationship that may consist of codependency or any outside source, whether that's an addiction, whether that's a person, certain habits that feel comfortable. This is a time of breaking free from that. Okay, so let's keep going. What do my Geminis need to know now? So we have encouragement. And we also have come together. That's so interesting. Wow, let's look at these cards for a second. We got encouragement and come together. So there's this energy of... There being some sort of deeper bond here between you and someone. Um, and okay, so let me say this. So what you must know now, for some of you, you've already met your soulmate with these two cards here. But for others of you, if you haven't necessarily met your soulmate yet or your person, the person that you're meant to be with is going to be that person that's going to encourage you, that's going to push you, that's going to go the extra mile to kind of show you that they're trying to be with you and they want to come together. And you guys could have this person right up under your nose, but maybe you're not aware of the lengths that they could be going to get your attention. So if you do have somebody in your life 
who has been showing you love in ways that maybe you've never experienced before, but maybe you, you've been brushing it off. You could be brushing off your soulmate or your person. That's interesting. Um, also, this is a time where you need to be mindful of any relationships with people where it's based in chaos or you have certain individuals who bring chaos to your life every time you deal with them. That may be a sign to be, you know, just self-aware of the relationships around you. Okay, Geminis. What do they need to know now? So we have smiley face, which represents joy. So again, huge focus on how spirit is trying to push you towards true happiness, not temporary happiness, not external things that are going to make you happy in the moment. Nothing like that. True happiness. And this is a time where that question may come up. And there's a reason why, if you have been having to ask yourself this question of what truly makes you happy. I'm seeing that some of you guys could be <laughs> going through like a dry spell or like a, I wouldn't say a dry spell, but a, a time period of being maybe bored. Maybe being bored, maybe, you know, not feeling like excited about life and just kind of stuck on the day-to-day -day responsibilities and whatnot. This is a time where you need to get to know yourself outside of work or outside of your day-to-day -day responsibilities. Also have fence, which represents boundaries. So yeah, some of you guys have too much of a wall up or a fence, <laughs> literally, to where it's keeping you from connecting with the people that are meant for you. I keep seeing this here. So it's a perfect time to reassess certain you know, walls or defenses you could have up, okay? There's definitely a, a good, or there's a such thing as good boundaries, excuse me. I also have caution and relationships. Hmm. So yeah, there has been blatant things that Spirit has been trying to bring to your attention. This could be in terms of your health. Like if you have been noticing certain things with your health, there may be a need for you to maybe switch up your routine or your regimen around like working out, certain things that you're eating, or just manage, managing your stress. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Hmm. But again, kind of going into like the bigger message that kind of keeps repeating. If you have been really, really scared to kind of go out of your comfort zone when it comes to meeting people, connecting with people, or even when it comes to certain business opportunities that you want to manifest, this is the time to reassess why that is and maybe pushing yourself a little bit to see what could come out of you, you know, taking that leap of faith. Okay, but this is mainly what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful and to give you insight. If you enjoyed, thumbs the video up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, Geminis.